Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been a while, but I thought I would do an updated favorite vitamin C serum slash product for you guys. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and vitamin C, as you know, is one of my favorite antioxidants and something that I use regularly every morning. I have a video on some of my favorite products that I filmed over, I think two years ago. So I feel like it's time for an update. And I try to comb through all the ones that I have used and really try to find ones that are from various different price points so something everyone can afford and use and all of these have nice ingredients and I have personally tested them out for you guys myself and so let's get into it let's first of all talk about vitamin C and why just really quickly why it is an amazing ingredient that I personally love but many dermatologists also love as well so vitamin C is a great antioxidant there's a lot of benefits to vitamin C including helping to defend defend against UV and visible light and pollution that can cause harm on our skin, in particular when it comes to accelerated skin aging. Vitamin C has also been shown to reduce oxidation on sebum that can be a potential drive behind inflammatory acne. Very interesting, right? And also vitamin C is a great brightening product, also helps with discoloration, hyperpigmentation, melasma, post-acne marks, and also vitamin C is very much needed in the synthesis of collagen. So it certainly can help with, you know, the appearance of fine lines or wrinkles, or at least support your anti-aging skincare regimen, if you will. When it comes to vitamin C, and you can certainly learn more about the formulation and the, the different types in my older video, but vitamin C, the active form is called l ascorbic acid. And this is where you find a lot of products mentioning that or ascorbic acid. But ascorbic acid is very unstable and it's very hard to formulate. So this is where there are different types types of vitamin C now, for example, like a liposoluble vitamin C, tetrahexyl desyl ascorbate or DHT ascorbate. That is probably the next popular vitamin C ingredient that you will find in skincare. But this is where I just want to inform you guys that not every vitamin C is the same, but there are great vitamin C products out there on the market. And you certainly don't need to spend a fortune on to get an effective product. But this is where going with a larger, more reputable brand, you know, instead of like an indie brand that really does not have a lot of the financial means to formulate the products very well or even to do testing is really going to be key here. So that's really my main message to you. And certainly if there's a product that you have been using that's working well for you, by all means continue, but not all vitamin C are of equal efficacy and are the same. Okay, enough said. Obviously I can't do this video without talking about my holy grail and it still remains one of my holy grail vitamin C serums and that is from SkinCeuticals. They're CE Really. I mean, literally, this is the mother of all vitamin C serums. You know, if you look at the market of vitamin C, this is the one that really started it. For various reasons, this C Frulic hands down has over 50, 60 peer reviewed published literature in academic journals on the serum, which you cannot say for majority of the serums on the market. Now, having said that, I have found that with my pregnancy, this one has just been a little more irritating for my skin because of the acidity, but it's something that I will probably still continue to use and still call my holy grail. So for about a 30 ml bottle of the serum, it's about $168, which will last you depending on how frequently you use it, but like four to five months. Now, the reason why this is so effective is that it not only contains the optimal range of vitamin C that we know works well, that gets into your skin with that optimal pH, but also contains 1% vitamin E as well as 0.5% ferulic acid. So this is why you see all ascorbic acid, ferulic acid, and vitamin E and other brands too, is really because this is the guy that started it all. And in fact, SkinCeuticals holds a patent on his exact formulation. The next serum is from La Roche-Posay. They are 10% vitamin C serum that retails for about $40 for a 30 ml bottle, I believe. And this serum, at least according to their packaging, you wanna use up within two to three months. So certainly price point wise is similar, maybe slightly cheaper than the SkinCeuticals C for like at least, you know, per month. This one is, is nice because it's got vitamin C in the active form, 10%, a good optimal range of vitamin C. It's got a little bit of salicylic acid, I believe like 0.45 to 0.5% that helps 
helps to buffer the vitamin C, enhances the efficacy, but also can be a gentle exfoliant to help out with uneven skin tone and skin texture. And then neurosensei and hyaluronic acid. So these are more soothing, hydrating ingredients. I would say this serum is more slightly on the stickier side. It's a liquidy serum, but slightly more goopy than SkinCeuticals. And I do find that it leaves a little bit more of a tacky feel after when it's applied. So I think it's better formulation for those with oily skin. It does have fragrance to it. So those with more sensitive skin or sensitivities to fragrance may want to avoid. Okay, going down the L'Oreal family. The next product I recommend is from Vichy, their Lift Active Vitamin C Serum. This is, in my mind, like I said, I don't believe in dupes, but in my mind, the closest that I can get to that is similar in texture and similar in formulation to the CE Frulic, and certainly more affordable. It's about $34 for a 20 ml bottle that will last you, again, the manufacturer, Vichy, recommends you using it up within two months. I love it because it's number one, a liquid serum that if you're seeking a good liquid serum, this is one to try. Very affordable. It's got 15% ascorbic acid and vitamin E. So often antioxidants, they are paired together to really help to stabilize each other and enhance the efficacy of their antioxidant benefits. Also has plant polyphenols, again, antioxidants that really enhances the stability of vitamin C and also enhances the overall efficacy of the serum's antioxidant benefits. It's fragrance free. The other thing is that Vichy has actually done quite a bit of clinical studies on their vitamin C serum, but also just on skin aging when it comes to the exposome or the external environment. They've actually done large scale studies in Brazil, as well as China and other countries on looking at this and how their vitamin C serum has helped with reducing the signs of skin aging and improving skin texture and tone in these different populations. And we're talking about large scale population studies, not just like 10 patients or, you know, 10 individuals. So that's the other one one thing I why I recommend the serum is of all the over-the-counter serums that are like very similar to SkinCeuticals, which really has the most number of clinical studies, Vichy is certainly one that is out there that's readily available, well-formulated, and has good number of clinical studies backing their products. So highly recommend checking this one out if you're looking for a similar serum to see if you like, but more affordable. Another one that is similar that I actually have been testing out myself the past few months that I actually have really been enjoying is from Paula's Choice, their C15 Super Booster. So like the previous two, it's a liquid serum. It contains 15% aliscorbic acid. That's the only concentration that I know of. And then to a certain degree, vitamin E and ferulic acid. So this is where, you know, you can't say that this is a dupe of SkinCeuticals because we don't even know what the concentrations of ferulic acid and vitamin E is. Retails for $52 for a two month supply of about 20 mil. And it's a light liquidy serum. I appreciate that this is fragrance free. So for those with more sensitive skin or who don't want strong fragrances, this is a good one for you. And it's a very similarly textured lightweight serum. I would say if I had to compare it to a SkinCeutical serum, I feel like this is more similar in texture to the Florence and CF than truly the C Fruit Light, but that's just my personal bias. Otherwise, it contains a little bit of hyaluronic acid to help with hydration, although I don't really find this to be very hydrating at all. But again, regardless, this is a good liquid one. I think that is worth trying. That's slightly more expensive than the Vichy but certainly something that is another option for you guys if you are looking for a liquid serum with the 15% aliscorbic acid formulation. Now moving on to more a creamier serum texture. I'm going to start off with CeraVe's Vitamin C Serum that retails for $25 for 30 ml. So this contains 10% vitamin C, pure vitamin C, but it's formulated in a way where it's slightly more nourishing. It's got ceramides. I believe it's got hyaluronic acid, but this this is one because it's also fragrance free, even though it contains ascorbic acid, it's not as liquidy. And I find this to be a little more gentle and affordable for those with more sensitive skin. Because it's from L'Oreal, I trust, and it's also it's from CeraVe, it's a brand that I trust. So certainly a serum that I think is worth using and trying. This is one I recommend for more sensitive and dry skin individuals. If you're looking for a fairly affordable vitamin C serum, this will last six months and just realize that some of the products, if it leaks out, will turn brown. But for the majority, the product inside it has a more of a yellow tint to it. As long as that doesn't darken, then you're good. So the next few products I'm going to mention is really um, formulated with that DHT ascorbate. So more of a creamier formulation. 
I think, better for those with more dry and sensitive skin. The first one I want to mention is the one from Glytone. I would say from of all the vitamin C products containing DHT ascorbate, this is one of my favorite ones. Glytone's C Plus Advanced Antioxidant Serum. And it retails for $92 for a 30 ml bottle. So this is a really nice fragrance-free hydrating vitamin C serum. Certainly is not cheap, but I personally think it's worth the price. Why I love this, number one, it's nourishing, it's hydrating, it's fragrance-free. It contains DHT ascorbate, which is a liposoluble vitamin C that's more stable than ascorbic acid. Some argue it's potentially more potent than the active form vitamin C. We just don't have as many studies on this type of vitamin C as we do L ascorbic acid, but surely I think it's it's definitely one of the better vitamin C derivatives on the market. It also contains plant antioxidants and squalane that really helps to boost the antioxidant benefits, but also help to nourish the skin. Similarly, another one that I also do like, that's like probably my like second favorite, <laughs> if I could put them in that order, is from Paracone MD. Their vitamin C ester CCC Plus Ferulic Brightening Complex, and it's the 20%. It is $159 for 59 mil, so two fluid ounce. You know, it's certainly not cheap as well, but again, it's nice and nourishing. It's got ascorbate, it's got vitamin E, it's got ferulic acid. So it's almost very similar to, again, the C ferulic formulation with a similar type of ingredients, but the vitamin C active form is more the liposoluble ascorbate. It's more on that creamier side, so better suited for those with more dry and sensitive skin. So I think another option, if you're looking for a good vitamin C serum, if you have dry and sensitive skin. So the next creamier serum I want to mention is from Dermatology and it's a vitamin C5 cocktail. This retails for $62 for 52 ml, so 1.75 fluid ounces. This is a nice, almost like a light cream that you can certainly use in the morning as well as in the evening. And it's got a blend of different types of vitamin C. So not just one vitamin C, it's got the DHT ascorbate, but the magnesium sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which really to me is just another form of vitamin C, but I think the studies are limited with their efficacy, but certainly, certainly I don't think it's harmful in this. And then there are other different forms of vitamin C here as well. But I think really the main star is the DHT ascorbate. But the other thing that is really nice, it's got, it's got a blend of peptides. So various different peptides that we know can help with improving the appearance of fine lines. And so this is almost like a double duty antioxidant and anti-aging serum in one. And with the formulation, because it's on the creamier side, I can also see individuals using this as like a lightweight moisturizer before the sunscreen. The last vitamin C serum that contains DHT ascorbate that is a good option, especially if you're looking for one to help not just as an antioxidant, but also improve your overall complexion is one from Glow Recipe, their Guava C Plus Dark Spot Serum. So this one contains DHT ascorbate as well as a few different derivatives vitamin C that I think for the most part just work synergistically to help with brightening your complexion, but also contains plant derived antioxidants and tranexamic acid. So this is a great one that I think to use in the morning or even at night or twice a day if you are struggling with hyperpigmentation, but also seeking an antioxidant to give you that defense against environmental damage, if you will. And certainly at $45 per bottle, which is 30 mil, it's something worth trying. And the texture of this, it's like in between a liquid and a cream. It's not really sticky, it absorbs pretty nicely, but certainly is not purely water-based. And so certainly something that I think really, I think is suitable for pretty much most skin types. You know, even if you have oily skin, this is not gonna feel extra heavy or sticky or greasy. And I certainly have not found this to be irritating on my slightly more sensitive skin these days. All right, guys, so that is a up-to-date review of my favorite vitamin C serums thus far that I have used and tried. Let me know if any of these made your list and if you have any favorites that I'm missing out and I haven't tried that, but I should be trying. I will appreciate it if you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if there are other products or skincare topics that you want me to talk about or review. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye.